Hello everybody, how are you doing? This video is actually different because in this video I'm not going to give you any advices, no suggestions, no tips. Instead, I'm going to ask for your advice, your suggestion. Actually yesterday, which was 21st of October, I completed three years in Canada. The first year is actually special because uh, it's obviously the first year anniversary. The second year is kind of okay, but third year, what makes it so special is that we become eligible to apply for the Canadian citizenship. Now, I can apply for the citizenship, but I'm really confused because I don't want to. Why I don't want to, I'll discuss in this video. But before that, let me grab a cup of coffee. good to talk now oh the camera is on I can start talking all right guys so as I told you that I've uh, just completed my three years in Canada which makes it me eligible to apply for the Canadian citizenship uh, well technically not because I was away for a couple of weeks when I went to India for my marriage but uh, anyways like overall in just a couple of weeks I would be eligible so this makes me think if I should actually apply for the Canadian citizenship or not. I have my own reasons about it um, that I want to discuss with you. So basically, obviously my mind is saying that I should uh, apply for it right away without wasting any more time because it will enable me to get the Canadian passport, which is a very powerful passport. It will allow me to travel to many countries around the world of course, after when this pandemic is over uh, without the visa. So I won't need the visa to travel and I love traveling. So, you know, it would be very good if I get the Canadian passport. But then there's another part of my mind, which is saying that, uh, you know, I should not apply for it. I can live with the uh, with just being the permanent resident uh, throughout the, throughout my life. Right. So there's this actually this connection with uh, India, the, the Indian bond, which is actually stopping me uh, doing that. I know it's just an emotional connect. Uh, which is stopping me doing that but uh, I'm very confused if I should actually go for uh, applying the Canadian citizenship getting the Canadian passport or not and that's what I want to ask you guys that uh, what you guys will do if you were there in my place and you know how do those people actually decide when I'm sure you know many people uh, you know hundreds and thousands of people would have gone through this situation before uh, how do you guys actually decide that should you actually apply for the Canadian citizenship? Uh, should you actually leave the Indian citizenship? Because the problem with getting the Canadian citizenship is that I being holding an Indian citizenship at the moment, India does not offer a dual citizenship. So if I get the Canadian citizenship, I'll have to lose the Indian citizenship. So that's the problem. I also know that many people would say that why are you living in Canada? Why don't you go to your home country? If you have uh, such a bond with India, why don't you go back to India? I've been getting tons of comments like that before. Um, I got such comments when I posted a very decent message on the Independence Day, in Indian Independence Day. I got such messages, but I try to stay away from negativity. So that's a very genuine question to all of you guys uh, who are there. What would you do if you were in my place and uh, you know, I'm sure many of you would be in my place in, uh, in the times to come and many of uh, you would have been in my place earlier. You would have chosen either the Canadian citizenship or you would have chosen that you would remain the Canadian permanent residence. What are your reasons behind it? I want to know your reasons so that I can strengthen my confidence. I can strengthen my thought if I want to actually apply for the citizenship or I want to remain the Canadian permanent residence. I know again many people would say that uh, you know, you can come back to your home country. No, I don't want to at this moment. Um, I certainly love and I certainly enjoy living in Canada. I certainly enjoy the Western lifestyle. But yes, there is this emotional bond with India. I know passport is just a document, but for me, somehow it feels like an identity document and it will st clearly state that I am a Canadian. I'm not an Indian anymore. So I'm actually confused, uh, nothing too emotional about it. But yes, I just want to know your suggestions. What are your thoughts on it? So please put your suggestions down in the comment section below. I would love to read each and every one of them. 
So thank you guys for watching this video and I'm really thankful in advance to all of those guys who are going to suggest something. Decent suggestions, I'm going to ignore all the negativity. There's some decent suggestions. What will you do if you were in my place and what will you do when you actually come to my place? So thanks again for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do click the subscribe button. That's very, very, very important.